Sometimes, in Cross Out, you build yourself a tank. Sometimes you add more wheels. Sometimes you add more tracks. And sometimes you add more guns. Sometimes one gun isn't enough. Sometimes two guns isn't enough. Sometimes four tracks isn't enough. Sometimes you need all of the tracks, all of the guns, and all of the armor. And for that, I give you my magnum opus, the Octo Goliath Track Deca Mammoth Tank Derp Thing. That's right, I finally got around to building myself the biggest, derpiest, tankiest, evil Nazi scientist mammoth tank I could create. Can she win in Clan Wars? Can she save the wasteland? Let's find out. Alright guys, good morning. Mr. G bringing you coffee and cross out in the world's biggest, derpiest mammoth... How many tracks are on this thing? Octo track... Deca mammoth tank build land battleship thing. Uh, we haven't made a Leviathan in forever, so we finally got around to doing it. And we built ourselves a 10 mammoth... Uh, 8 track... Uh, Goliath Leviathan thing. Uh, this took me the better part of the day. It's on a humpback chassis powering the whole thing. Got a little Apollo under there for some extra juice. Um, ridiculous amount of frames and we've got the uh, the tracks so that they're kind of wedged in between each other and we just got mammoths on every piece of square surface area. We could stick on this thing and we had three energy left over after putting in a radar detector. So you know what? We slapped one teeny little vector on there. Now believe it or not we had to fuse this thing for tonnage it is not overweight, it is not in the yellow, but it, it's slow to get going. She does not get going very quickly. Now we got most of the firing angles on these mammoths to work. Now granted, if I get those ones on, on the middle a little bit higher up, we can get more guns to bear on target. Uh, but you can see you can easily get at least um, half your guns on one particular target at any one time. And this thing throws a stupid amount of herd out there and once it gets going she's not fast but she's she's got some inertia behind her and I gotta say I think this is one of the more elegant looking things that I've ever built um goliaths make it easy to make you know really nice looking builds same with step spider parts and the mammoth is I think just the perfect piece for this thing I mean it looks like some sort of evil Nazi German super weapon thing and we clean up all the bots yet now she turns at a worse turn rate than the Titanic. We've been trying to turn this thing forever. And God forbid you try and back up and turn at the same time. Um, speed is not in this thing's vocabulary. Uh, however, firepower and armor is. We've got a structure of 5,000 on this thing. And we have a weight of 69,357 kilograms. I think that's the heaviest thing that I've ever built. So we've got actually mule tracks on the inside because we needed the tonnage. Uh, and we've got reinforced on the outside. And we're gonna see how this thing does if I can take it into a clan wars battle this weekend. I'm gonna give it a go on uh, live stream. If I get a chance, I may or may not be able to stream this Sunday. So we'll just have to see. Um, dear God. Can it do the jump? All right, guys, well, it took me about 10 minutes to get out here to the jump, but here we are. Uh, if you want to see more stuff, please hit that like and subscribe button, making and trying new stuff every day, and that, we're totally not doing the jump. That's it for this one, guys. Mr. G out. <laughs>